Hi guys, today for you, teardown of this uh, Soviet aircraft instrument. We have here a radio altimeter indicator. Radio altimeters are mostly uh, used uh, during uh, landing procedures. So you can see we have one knob here you can turn that will move this uh, yellow uh, index, very bright yellow index. Here we have uh, some uh, light, orange light indicator. And we have a needle with a warning flag at the back. It is up to 1500 meters. And you can see this black painted disc on the window and here this area also to hide the uh, meter movement when you, well, the needle support at least. Uh, on the side, so here is the side of the case. We have the model and serial number written here. A uh, small access panel here on the top and on the back uh, we have the electrical connector. The case uh, screws which uh, is probably missing uh, the, fat, the seal, security seal screw and we have here a label saying made in USSR on this big uh, Soviet multi-pin connector. Okay, so we'll remove the screws and we will have a look inside. Okay, so the screws are removed. We have to pull the cover. Here is what we have inside. So it is just an aluminium cover. For some reason, there is a red mark here inside. I'm not sure if you will see it very well, but it is here. Looks like some material did migrate on the metal. So here is what it looks like inside. We have, as always, the construction in two parts: the electronics at the back and the mechanics and actuators at the front. We have three PCBs. So first on the PCBs. Uh, quite regular parts, uh, metal body diodes, uh, um, capacitors with nice uh, sealed capacitor here, not polarized, uh, big red resistors, trim pots. On this one, we have a dead bug. Uh, yeah, yeah. We have dead bug. Um, Transistors, some uh, round uh, ICs, 12 uh, legs ICs, this one is a little less. Uh, tiny, tiny uh, uh, capacitor here. The uh, transistors, you can see how they are mounted, did bug, and they are epoxide to the PCB. And uh, together with it, there is a conformal coating. So Really, they are not moving. It is the same thing for these capacitors here. There is a white epoxy behind them. The last board is the same kind of stuff. We have one uh, little uh, transformer here, coated in uh, green stuff. This, I don't know what they are. Where the parts? It is the only item in which I have seen this. Maybe they are optocouplers. Or dual uh, diodes, maybe uh, in a single pack, something like this. L small uh, relay here. And uh, on the front, what do we see? There is push button here, going together with a uh, setting with contact. We have a light here, so this must unscrew in some way. And there is a bulb inside. Rotary contacts here at the bottom, you can see the uh, motor here, or actuator, synchro motor, something like this. Dead code of uh, January 1985. There is one other small actuator here, maybe for the orange flag in the dial. And apart from that, you can see the uh, so the Structural pieces are in die cast uh, metal, aluminium it seems. 
here it is a stamped aluminum plate and you can see we have these uh, screws with these uh, threaded uh, parts and <coughs> the PCBs are mounted on, on hinges <coughs> so we can, I did already undo the screws we can actually lift this PCB to access in the middle we have in the middle the, uh, the connector here a big uh, precision potentiometer that code 1985 with a nice logo here it is it has its uh, own cell number it is uh, 25 kilo ohms uh, 5 percent and we have a big toroidal transformer what else uh, you can see the uh, here the pcb is attached with small uh, die cast metal parts but this is uh, just a stamped uh, metal uh, sheet unfolded okay and the wire harness it is the regular uh, teflon the white teflon uh, insulator uh, soviet uh, wire and here they did wrap the uh, harness with something some kind of clear uh, tape not sure what it is there is not very usual this thing i did already see it but it is not really usual okay so it is all for this uh, item well, it may be possible to uh, undo the bolts here and access uh, to this uh, front part but uh, I guess it will be quite delicate and there are still lots of factory seals so I do, do not want to disturb too much the thing and it will just be a um, mechanical interface I believe something like this must be not be a lot of stuff in this uh, but I see some uh, wires going to the front part so there is some electrical stuff at least and if I remember correctly this panel here we can remove it but there is nothing to see under it not uh, sure anymore so there is something you need to know about uh, Soviet uh, screws the uh, Soviet screws do not fit correctly the western uh, screwdrivers and they have been uh, afraid about it in uh, the EEV blog forum about the opening of the flight recorder from the uh, fighter the 24 fighter which was shot down by Turkey and uh, there are two uh, dudes trying to open the uh, flight recorder for investigation which uh, revealed to be completely ruined because it did use commercial grade uh, memory chips inside I will link the forum thread in the description box and they, are, they had a lot of issues to open the screws because they were using uh, western uh, screwdrivers with Russian screws and the uh, size of uh, the gap in the Russian screw heads do not fit the regular western screwdrivers as you can see my screwdriver here is the correct size almost uh, in a uh, width but do not go all uh, to the bottom of the uh, screw head so you may uh, damage very easily uh, screws uh, in this way you need uh, almost to, to get uh, special uh, Russian made uh, screwdrivers which are not uh, probably not uh, easy to find uh, in the western world but it is why they did um, damage the screw heads ok so with a smaller size of screws if you get a smaller screwdriver you can manage to uh, do something but look here in fact for these screws I need to use uh, the precision screwdriver I have here because this uh, regular one does not fit but the precision screwdriver does almost does fit better at least so I did remove the two screws now I need 
to find something to pull the thing open I hope it will come it's not easy at all it is completely stuck no I guess I will not be able to maybe there is a seal or something like this and you really have no gap where to put a, a, screw, uh, a tool so it will remain closed okay I will put this uh, back together now thanks for watching bye bye